Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how I manage multiple projects. So right now I'm managing a whole bunch of things, whether it be a podcast, it could be doing videos like this, it could be writing my newsletter, uh, it could be angel investing. So, you know, we have all of these massive projects that we're working on. And I think one of the things that I've struggled to deal with for a long time is how to effectively manage each of these projects. So in this episode, we're going to be focusing on two things. That is Notion. And the second thing is the getting things done method, or in other words, the GTD method. And I'm going to show you how to combine those two in an effective way so that you can start beginning to, you know, be more productive and not stress out about how to manage so many different projects at any given time. So without further ado, uh, we're going to get straight into it. And before we do, just don't forget to subscribe, like, or uh, share this video with other people. I know that it'll be super helpful if they can get their hands on this as well. So with that, let's dive into it. Okay, so the GTD method was a method that was created by a productivity expert called David Allen. And effectively, there are five key tenants of GTD, and that is capture, clarify, organize, review, and engage. And effectively, what this is, is trying to do a complete brain dump of what you have going in your head at any given time. Because, you know, like me, we all have things we need to do. There's a schedule, a, a to-do list, all in our minds. And basically, what we're trying to do here is really put all of that on paper. And in this instance, the paper is Notion. So what is Notion? So Notion is effectively a productivity tool. It's a scheduling tool. It's a note-taking tool, you name it. It's basically everything under the sun right now. And I don't want to go into Notion too much. And I, we can do that for another video. But effectively, we're going to be using Notion here to capture the essence of GTD and how I approach GTD in Notion. And FYI, this video is not sponsored by Notion. Even though I love it, I advocate it. I ain't sponsored by Notion. Okay, so right now I'm gonna show you how to use GTD in Notion in real time. And FYI, the link to the template that I'm gonna show you is available in the description below and it's completely free. So go ahead and you know use it at your own discretion. It's completely up to you to modify, tweak it, and even provide updates and, and comments yourself if you wanna go ahead and improve it as well. So with that, let's jump into it. Oh, and by the way, the inspiration of this template came from Karma Medic. So be sure to check out his videos and his account, and I'll put his uh, link to his channel in the description below as well. So from the get-go, what you'll see from this template is uh, quite simple. So the first thing I want to take, I want to walk you through is really the structure and the hierarchy of the template. So at the beginning, you have a calendar. So just the way you would see this in uh, your Google Calendar or any other calendar app that you have. And then at the bottom, you have an inbox. And this inbox is uh, basically the dump that you wanna do. So anything that comes to your mind at any given time throughout the day, I need to run an email or I need to finish that book, I need to do some errands. All of this can be dumped onto inbox. Overdue is the ones where they're overdue effectively. Anything that exceeds the due date, they will automatically pop up here by default. And every time you start the app or every time you start the app in the morning, you'll see all the uh, tasks that need to be done um, that are specifically overdue. Due today are the ones that are effectively due today. Due soon is interesting because here you can actually change how far ahead in the future you want to actually see your tasks. So by default, this template will show you in the next week. So if you want to change your uh, due soon to be out further than a week, you can simply just go to the filter button on the top right corner of the table, and then you can simply change where it says the next week and you can go ahead and change that to uh, the next month, the next year, even previous if you wanted to as well. Uh, but for this instance, it would be uh, the next week, the next month, or the next year. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add some tasks that we can start to play with. So today is November 1st, and I'm gonna go ahead and add a task. So anything that uh, I wanna do today. So let's say finish this video, 
and then I'm gonna exit out of that I'm going to go and add uh, I don't know, walk the dog um, go to go to post office uh, write newsletter do grocery shopping and then finally let's say um, plan dinner with friends okay so right now all I've all I've done here is put down all the things that I want to do and what you see here is that in inbox you will see all of the tasks populated but you don't see any project you don't see any context you only see a date now you can go ahead and you can move this across to different days so let's say for example you want to plan dinner with friends but you probably want to do that tomorrow because you're super busy today so you can go ahead and do that that's really the cool thing about working with the calendar you could alternatively just switch the default view and then you get the same thing in under the tax heading but it doesn't really work it's not really intuitive so i usually use the calendar instead once you have the tasks populated on the inbox that's your that's your time now to decide whether they go so in this case you know you have a whole bunch of projects that i've already pre-populated you can go ahead and create new ones so let's say i create a new uh, project called errands let's do that it's going to automatically create the errands project and then it's going to disappear okay so well why does that happen well now that you've actually associated a project with the task now you actually can see and you go to due today that oh well the walk the dog task is actually done today so it's basically going to go ahead and then once you've associated a task it's going to go ahead and allocate those tasks to the respective categories that i previously mentioned so we can do the same thing let's go with grocery shopping let's do errands again uh, finish video let's say YouTube YouTube create a new project uh, let's say write newsletter let's add that to uh, newsletter uh, go to post office uh, errands and dinner with friends let's do uh, errands again okay so they're all gone now they're populated on due today all right okay this is great so Let's say we went back, we went out for a couple of hours, we did some errands and we can go ahead and come back now and finish uh, what we did. So for example, we walked the dog, we can go ahead and click the dog task and then we can go ahead and uh, add, hit done. I also forgot, let's say, let's do a control Z, control Z, actually it doesn't work. Hmm. Uh, let's put this back out to uh, inbox. So let's remove the project okay so let's do the let's go back to the grocery shopping let's say there's a project that I want to link but you could also add notes here so just FYI if you want to add additional notes you can go ahead and do that or you could go into do grocery shopping and you can basically type some notes here as well so blah 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 okay so that's that's something if you want to add and you can also add context as well so there's a whole bunch of things that you can uh, do here and you can add things and modify things as you wish but generally speaking uh, once you've associated a, pro uh, a project with the grocery shopping then you can go ahead and it will disappear and go into your uh, category so let's go to errands again that disappears okay so let's say we've done uh, grocery shopping we tick the box uh, we wrote the newsletter but instead of ticking the box here I'm gonna tick the box down below over here so write newsletter tick and then from there i'm going to go ahead and notice that okay well these errands now and the uh, all the things that i did are now populated inside that they completed so that's nice to know that i've actually done it now i can go ahead and focus on other things okay so what happens if there's a task that you can't complete in the day that you assigned it to so for example let's say go to the post office so this let's say you're too busy you can't do this today what you can do is you want to push this to tomorrow for example so a couple ways you can do this one is drag and drop boom 
the second one is click the task itself and then go ahead and change the due date to tomorrow or any date for that matter as you wish okay and you'll see the result you'll you'll see go to post and then from there if you scroll down you'll see the go to post office has been moved to the due soon in next week so you can already see the power of what I'm trying to do here. There's no more having to drag things here and there. Everything is nicely organized in this nice workflow. So you can see when things are completed, when things are due, and when things are uh, overdue effectively. So now that I have the go to post office due soon, I know that's things, something that I need to get done. Okay, so what happens in the instance that a task is actually overdue so in this instance the post office we can move that to sunday let's say yesterday i was supposed to go to the post office we can simply drag and drop and then from there you'll see go to post office and then if you scroll down below if you go to the overdue section you'll see go to post office has been shifted to the overdue category uh, section and then from there you'll know what tasks are overdue and, and the more tasks that you'll see are overdue as you continue to move things uh you know in reverse, you'll see that the task auto populate the overdue section already. Okay, so then we can bring that back to today and then voila, everything disappears as well. Okay, so effectively that's it. I think a lot of the um, problems that I've been seeing with previous systems that I've worked with is that you don't have that ability to automate everything and be able to populate um, these these tables seamlessly but hang on so how does this actually all work so the great thing about notion is that there's is feature called linked databases so if you go to the inbox for example you'll see a uh, column called project and so that arrow represents a uh, effectively a linked table right so what you're doing here is that you're linking this to another table so it may seem like all these four tables, or sorry, five tables, are actually quite different. In effect, they're all the same table. Okay, so all they're all derived from the same table. What I'm doing here is really being able to just filter out specific columns, and then from there, it's able to auto-populate based on conditions that I set. Okay, so you'll see here again, you know, the project, and then you can see the relationship that I have. And then if I click relationship, you can select the databases that I want to create and add to, right? So the great thing about this template is that you don't have to do any of that. Everything's already taken care for you in the background. Um, you can go ahead and look under the hood and see how those project tables are created. But in essence, all you have to do is really work with the table that's given to you. Okay. Also, by the way, if you like the weather widget, I'll also link that in the description below. That's just a nice thing that I usually have. Um, and then you can also customize the template as you wish. You can remove the uh, cover photo. You can remove the weather widget altogether. Uh, you can shift things around. Uh, but effectively, this is really uh, a, a way to streamline um, a lot of the stuff that I was talking about. Uh, with regards to GTD and Notion. So I hope you like it. I hope it benefits you. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the link below. And uh, yeah, until next time, uh, see you later. Thanks, guys.